Hey guys, it's Mallory here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in our master bedroom. So I've been doing tons of house videos. If this is your first one, I'm the mom of two, two and under. So I have a two year old boy, a one year old girl, and we moved into a new house. It's been a process, but um, we are kind of slowly like finishing decorating up. Um, there's some big to do's, but mostly our to-do list is uh, getting smaller and smaller. So today I want to just bring you guys along for the final kind of um, makeover on our master bedroom. We bought new dressers we've been working on. It's just been a slow process with two kids, especially with teething and clinginess and problems. <laughs> um, and just like to find the time to be able to do stuff like that. So um, I'm gonna show you what it looks like now and then bring you along for the actual decorating. I have a haul from TJ Maxx we, where we got most of our like bedding and stuff. And um, our bed is off of Amazon. So we've just been slowly accumulating things. We've got Ikea dressers. Um, I'm just gonna show you. <laughs> and then uh, we'll do some kind of reveal at the end. So I didn't clean things up at all before this video. I didn't make the bed because I'm stripping all this off. But this is what we're working with right now. So we got like a chest of drawers, nightstands, and dresser from Ikea. And I really like them. Um, we really, I really wanted to go for more of like a neutral theme in this bedroom. And um, I think with the bedding, it's going to all come together. But so far, I like the way the dressers look. We had some big white ones in here and that just was not really working. I kind of want my husband to move this over to completely cover that now because that's bothering me. But yeah, these are, you know, pretty inexpensive, um, not like the highest quality dressers, but they look nice and they work well. They just open up, you know, sliding. And I thought about we could put like some hardware on there, like maybe those little leather ones or something, but I think they actually look really good for now. This bed is off of Amazon and it's like this velvety upholstered uh, material, but there used to be these silver studs all the way down and I was just not vibing with it. I did not like the way it was looking and it didn't really fit my more like neutral theme. So we actually just took them out. Like my husband took a knife to it and just pulled all those little studs out and I think it looks great. I love the texture of the stripes like this, vertical like this, I think it looks Really cute, I think it'll be great once we have our new bedding. We have a huge window, which is awesome. Um, the, we don't have blinds yet, and the curtains are just like this light gray, which I think will work fine, but we definitely need blinds, and we're a little confused or torn on how to do it. Like, I was thinking three, so one on the big one, and then two smaller ones, because if you put, you can't just do one, it's too big, and then if you put two, it'll just look really weird. So I'm thinking three, my husband doesn't necessarily agree, but that's what I'm going with. And then I have this whole little haul. I wanna start out by showing you guys this laundry basket, because I did receive this from Good Pick. I've got several baskets from them before that I've shared in videos, and I just love every single one, so I'm gonna share this large laundry basket with you. It's exactly what I was looking for. I wanted just a nice woven white basket. I wanted the handles. I wanted it to be like large. I love this size because it doesn't get too heavy and it's about like one load of laundry. Um, so as I see that it fills up, I'm able to just go put it in. I've been using this for about a month now and I absolutely love it. It has really big handles, which is nice and it's just really pretty, really neutral, matches our room great, and it's gonna look so good with all of our new bedding and everything. So I just wanna share this with you guys. It's like the size of my torso, I guess, um, but they have lots of different options, different colors, even in this basket. I just typically go for like the all white or more neutral colors, but in my old house or my old style, I probably would have done like black because they have some black and tan ones, black and white, uh, gray. They have really great options and tons of different baskets. Um, I'd say this one would primarily be for laundry, but their baskets are also super versatile. So um, like we've used some for blankets downstairs or toys, stuffed animals. I have one in River's room. We have one in the playroom that has toys. Um, and then we have like some hanging leather ones. They're so cool. So I'll link um, all their stuff down below, like their website and their Instagram. And then you can also 
like find this specific one linked down below and I definitely recommend it. We were using just this older laundry basket from like Target or something and it was not a cute basket like this. It was um, like more plasticky and I just love this material. It's so like thick and sturdy too. It's really good. And like I said, it doesn't get too heavy because of the size. So I just really like it and I highly recommend it. So everything will be linked down below and you can find, you can shop it there. I think this would be good for like blankets and stuff as well, or even toys. The nice thing about the height is that if you wanted to like put stuffed animals or toys down in there, they wouldn't necessarily be like popping out. One of the ones we have downstairs, they are popping out, which is fine because it's the playroom. But if you were trying to like conceal toys, this might be a good option or like carrying toys or things around because the handles. But again, I think it's mostly a really good laundry basket. So that's what I'm using it for. But thank you to Good Pick. And let me show you everything that I got from TJ Maxx. I'm gonna try to keep this quick because I wanna just actually get going. But um, we got some pillows to go on our bed. So I just picked up this long one. I will show you a couple pictures that were my Pinterest inspiration. I had a board, but I ended up only finding two pictures. Um, so both of them have like the bigger kind of square pillows like this and then um, like a longer rectangle pillow and I always like that style anyways. I love pillows with texture so even though it's like super neutral colors it adds some fun flair with the texture so this has like tons of little stuff. The thing about home goods TJ Maxx is they're always changing stuff so I don't even know if you'd be able to find this stuff in your store so I'm just going to show you really quickly and then maybe you can look online or something so picked up a throw which again they always have different options but they always have good throws and pillows they have so many options so if you're doing any kind of home project i do recommend checking it out plus their prices are pretty good i think this was 20 dollars, and i love that it has again like the texture but it's also super soft like if something's gonna be on my bed i want it to be soft and i wanted lots of white tan neutral colors but I didn't want my comforter to be white because we had a white one in the past. Obviously that can get messy and whatever. And also our bed is white. So I just wanted to try something that was a little bit different. So I went for this color, which I don't even know what you would call this. Um, but it is very neutral, kind of like a tan cream. Not good at, at this. I'm sure it has a specific name, but this was only $60 for a king set compared to a lot of the other options were way more expensive. We had gone once before and I didn't find anything I liked, but they're always switching things out. So I found the perfect one last time. It's very comfy and it just comes with the comforter, two pillow shams and one little decorative pillow. So we'll see if that looks good. That's all for the bed. And then I just picked up this cute little basket from the Target dollar spot. It was $5. I was there the other day and I love a good little basket. So I'm going to put this maybe on my dresser or something just to conceal stuff. It's kind of deep, which is good to hide things. Um, but let's actually put everything together. I think the bed looks pretty awesome. It's 
very neutral, very pretty. The throw adds so much, like just to add the weight and the texture and it kind of ties into that pillow. So I really like that. The only thing I guess I'm not 100% is maybe those pillows, but I think they do look really good because they're a little bit different, a little bit texture, a little bit of color change, but still very similar, very neutral. So I think with our upholstered white bed, it looks amazing. I really, really like it. And it does look good with the little nightstands and dressers and everything. So now I just wanna clean up all these spaces, take these to the laundry and all that. Um, I might wanna switch out, this is our dog Hazel's bed. Um, the bed itself is like this light blue gray color, so that's fine, but I don't like the red blanket with our room anymore, so I'm gonna need to well, I never really liked it. It doesn't match anything. It's just a blanket that we had. So I'm going to switch out her blanket maybe, but yes. Also don't love this fan. So we might need to buy a new one. And then we have thought about and probably will at some point put like a rug here underneath and then one of those benches like in my um, inspo pictures. So I just need to find one that we like and that's a good price and that will work. I've seen a lot that are like upholstered on top but I think I just want wood and I think that would look so good. It would just class it up even more. Um, we've never really had like a beautifully decorated master bedroom. We've never had all the matching furniture or anything like that. So this is really my new blank canvas. I also wanna get a sign up here. So that's not gonna be in this video. I'm just going to clean up and then show you what it looks like at the end but eventually as i add pieces i'll definitely share that in future vlogs and videos so stay they tuned say time is a healer just you wait and see the problem is for me i need a need hey, do you like our new bed i don't own it okay you can go on it let's see baba's reaction Isn't that nice? The pillows fit really perfectly. Yeah, I think so. And the blanket oh, is really good. Oh, yeah. It's good with that pillow. It's so nice. I'm very tempted to jump on it. No. Doesn't it look good with our bed? Yes. It looks really good. You like it, Asher? It fits perfect. You like this blanket? I like it. Yeah. Almost like matches the color. With that, yeah. What do you think, Asher? <laughs> you like it too? <laughs> I think he does. Is it comfy? Yeah. You had a bite of ham. You had a bite of ham. I helped you. I eat him bite ham. You helped Baba, and you ate a bite of ham. I have to eat cheese stick. Did you eat a cheese stick? No. Oh. No, cheese balls. Oh. Cheese balls, Mom. Cheese balls, the mozzarella it balls. On my plate. On your plate. Yeah. Are you comfy on that pillow? Yeah. <laughs> you need a blanket to go to sleep. This Do you like it? it? Nice. It's nice. <laughs> there you new go. Blanket. It is a new blanket. So tell me, I'll be honest. Tell me, did you know that you would be leaving me just like the winter snow? Tell me, I'll be honest. Tell me, should I know that you'd be leaving me so painfully quiet and Having clean surfaces makes such a difference. This little basket's so cute. Um, and as I have junk stuff, I'll just put it in there. Asher is trying to sleep on our bed. Um, so the only thing left is I want to switch out the fan and the blanket, but 